Hey guys, Zar here, back with you very quickly. I'll explain in a moment. I'll say hi and everything. So I'll stop right here below those two candles. You see that there? Having tagged the uh, open range, I'm going to risk 20 points to make 20 points. Looking for a quick trade here, either stopping out at a loss or hitting profit to end. I'm oh, not in yet. Not in yet. Interesting bit down just a little bit because I clearly was not tagged in right there just looked over at my platform nope there's the trade I already took this morning one and there we go guys there we go I'm gonna leave that one in so you can see and now patience And there it is, guys. Had to wait a little bit, a little bit of pain there on that pullback, but was able to get a second R out of this move, but had to do it on a second piece. Very self-explanatory trade here. Probably going to go back down again significantly further. This was that very strong impulse down that went significantly further than I thought it was going to go on the first trade. Pulled all the way back in a very orderly way, tagged the open range again, and then began to round over. So this is a trend continuation trade, right? Very clean impulse down, fib retracement back up, tagging a key level, which is the open range, and then faltering, selling on the resumption of the down move. Now you notice this is one of these few times where I didn't wait for prices to be on the bias side of the EMA. So in other words, the nine is above the 21, but under these, interesting and fairly extreme conditions I'm okay with that right this is a dance and it's about footwork tempo rhythm timing and there were so many other pieces here in favor of this in terms of units of conviction I had no problem flipping the coin after tagging that open range thanks for being here guys have an amazing day we'll talk to you soon